welcome back. Today we have another two, actually no, we got three. I got one more behind me. Three very, very large boxes of what I like to call my hodgepodge palette. So what I got are three boxes that are like 20 by 18 by 14-ish. Each one, they're probably 25, 30 pounds a piece. They got some decent weight to them. So hodgepodge, what these can actually have in them can have anything from housewares, tools, kitchen, pets, toys, electronics. I've had apparel. I've had things we can't even talk about because it could upset people. You can have anything in hodgepodge pallets. They're fun to open up and they can be crazy profitable at times. So the full MSRP of all three boxes was $1,589 on Amazon.com because all three boxes came from Amazon originally, but these are all customer returns. So pretty much people bought them, they changed their mind, and some of these items will be returned in brand new condition. Some will come back very used, and some will come back completely destroyed. It's pretty much a gamble. And that's all a part of pallet flipping is the gamble mystery factor. Will you make a little bit of money? Will you make no money? Or will you make a lot of money? It's all part of the game. What I actually paid, my full price, was $172.26. That's all I paid. And people ask, but shipping these three boxes alone would cost more than that. Yes, it actually would. To ship these three boxes across the country would probably run you at least 250 bucks in shipping. But I picked these up locally because luckily I have several liquidation companies in my city. So thankfully I can pick these up in person and pay zero shipping costs. So always try to find somebody local to buy from if you can. But if you can't, try to work in shipping costs to how much you pay because shipping cuts into your profit drastically. Try to avoid it if all costs. So let's get into this thing and let's see how much profit I can make off of the hodgepodge. So everything will be sold on many different platforms. We'll have sales on ebay.com, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, my shop, direct, PayPal, uh, invoice to subscribers. You have to have many different outlets to sell this stuff because I say, people ask me, probably 75% of all the items that come out of these boxes, you cannot sell this on the internet. You, It's not in the kind of condition that can be sold on eBay or on Amazon. It's too beat up, it's too used, it's too destroyed. It's just not good condition to be sold on a lot of platforms online. I mean, you can try to do it, but it's a very, very quick way to get yourself suspended or uh, a very, very mad customer. So you have to have many, many ways to sell this stuff. I'd say 75 to 80% of these items that you'll see from these three boxes, two here and one down there, I won't sell on the internet. I'll be selling it in person person to person, my shop, Craigslist, Facebook, and other avenues that I sell around the city where I live. Good tip for y'all. So you'll see other people doing these kinds of pallets now on YouTube, but you know they don't have the reselling experience to actually know how to sell this stuff. But uh, I'm one of the few channels that actually has the reseller experience that actually knows how to sell this stuff. So you've come to the right place, to the right channel, to actually can you know tell you how I'm actually gonna sell this stuff. Because the other people, they don't know how to sell this stuff. I do. We got our first item here. So what I'll do is I will give you pretty much a rough estimate of kind of my, my reseller knowledge of what I could possibly sell it for right now. And as I edit the video, I'll give you more accurate price if I'm wrong. So first item, 
We've got a wireless temperature gauge by LaCrosse Technology. These have a decent value to them. They're not like super expensive, not like fantastic expensive things, but they do have a little bit of value to them. Most of the time, if they are returned, it's because this thing's damaged and it's not damaged. So this will have a pretty decent return to it. But something like this, I'm gonna have to fix the packaging up a little bit because it has seen some better days. But the cross technology, something like this, in this condition, like $15, $20, if it was brand new, obviously you can get more for it, but this is not brand new. Looks like honestly, somebody bought it, took it out of the package, changed their mind, and then they returned it, which is totally fine because I'll resell it. And then we got some more items, like I guess not more, but the first thing, a window and door hardware, replacement hardware. Hodgepodge stuff, you'll get things like this. Looks like this is more like insulation that's gonna go around window and doors, around the edges of it. Something like this, honestly, you could throw this on the internet if you wanted to. The best place for me to sell something like this is like in my shop for probably like 10 bucks or so. It'll sell to somebody who's trying to find something like that. Oh, yeah, this bad boy. We have an insect fogger. Haven't got one of these for about a month now. These are always, when I get these returned, they're always used. I've never, ever, in all my years of doing this, I've never gotten one of these that was brand new. Well, they've always been used, I think, pretty much, I think what people do is they buy it just for the job that they, that they need it for, then they return it to Amazon, you know. That's a pretty much a pretty common problem with Amazon is because the return policies are so relaxed there. So, I mean, this is used. I'll have to try this thing out because a lot of these items here that are used, a vast majority will be used items in these boxes. You've got to try out a lot of stuff. The big majority of this reselling, Amazon, like customer returns, Walmart customer returns, Sears, Best Buy, whatever company you're, you're buying pallets from, if it's like you stuff, customer returns, the biggest majority of your time is spent just trying stuff out to see if it works. The actual listing online part is quick. Shipping is quick. Pricing stuff to be sold in your places of business or your shop, your flea market, your swap meet or wherever you sell stuff to, that's quick. It's the testing out you stuff is what takes forever. But something like this, honestly, I'll probably put that into my shop for like 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Then we have a mystery brown package. It's a mystery paper. Print on sheets, white. Okay, these are called just print on sheets white. I, I don't even know what this is. Print on sheets white. I'll have to research that more, update that later. Next, we've got this is what I like to see right here. This is brand new. This is factory sealed, has not been opened up. It is a Hamilton. I think I saw the brand here somewhere. Hamilton Beach True Air. True Air Plug Mount Odor Eliminator. Model number 04530GM. I've never actually sold this model number. Sometimes people will return stuff to Amazon as factory sealed to get free return shipping. They'll say that it's defective. And if you say it's defective, you get free return shipping. And uh, when it, when, so once they get it back, they will liquidate it automatically because they don't want to resell it themselves because it's defective, but uh, it's not defective. Or option number two, it could be Amazon warehouse damaged packaging. Like there is a small little, like little like crease right here in the packaging where Amazon could have called this warehouse damaged packaging. It's so small, I doubt they would have, but they could have. But something like this, 
probably at least 20 bucks or so in that range. I could, it could be more than that though. And next we've got a Black Hawk Taser Duty Holster Plain Finish. Well, that's, that's a problem. It's supposed to be a holster. I don't see a holster in here. I see uh, just kind of like a belt. Unless if the belt, some weird reason is the holster. It might be, because there are some holsters now that are uh, kind of different. Some now are called like sticky holsters. I don't know, I'm going to Google this later. Make sure that this is not the holster, the just the belt. I highly doubt it, but who knows. I'll have to research this later and update that. See what's going on with that thing. What we got? Ooh, this is nice. Video door foam kit by the Buy One brand. This is a big, big ticket item right here. Somebody taped this thing shut quite a bit. Most pallets, you'll get at least one or two big ticket kind of items. Like you should. Some things, like if you buy toys, sometimes you won't get anything like big ticket items. But uh, buying like hodgepodge, electronics, tools, you'll usually get at least one or two, at least one, if not two or three, big ticket items most of the time. But here's this. You've got your video. Okay, it's, it's kind of in pieces. Oh man, this kind of stinks. So here's your video door phone. In pieces, it has been installed and uninstalled a couple times it looks like the actual uh the screen pieces falling off the screen here that you can actually see it has the original film on it still so this is going to take a little research on my part to make sure it actually it's still good let me actually look this thing up online i'll be right back okay on amazon research this it sells new for about 212 dollars it sells used for, actually Amazon sells it used themselves for about $98. So we're looking at used by about a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna hook this thing up and see if it works. But if it does, looks like this should be about a hundred dollar bill right there. So I'll take that in a heartbeat. Next we got, looks like another, nope, this thing is, it is opened up. What is this? DA power system, drill activated, waxing, polishing, compounded more, revolutionized, apply wax perfectly. Oh, it goes on, on onto like a drill and you can buff and wax your car with it. I got it. Got it. Took me a second to use a little thinker. That's kind of nifty though. Never seen this. This hodgepodge, I've actually had already a couple things I've never sold before but that's actually cool it's open package item but it doesn't actually look used though but uh I'm guessing probably about 20 bucks on that but if I'm wrong I will update that and it fell but it might still be good we'll find out later oh my we've got some Oakley's polarized fuel cell are you serious please don't be counterfeit <laughs> please don't be counterfeit because fuel cell oakley's are probably at least like 200 hour glasses i bet checking out for the for authenticity Got the Oakley marks there. Still has the actual film little sticker on the lens. These appear from my initial look at them. These appear to be authentic Oakleys. Holy crap. I got to look these bad boys up. Hold on. I'll be right back. Not too shabby. Amazon they sell new for 150 bucks. 
So I'm going to have to do a little more research on these things. Check out a couple of uh, websites on like real versus fake Oakleys to make sure these are not counterfeit. Because yes, there are counterfeiters who try to sell stuff on Amazon. Yes, it happens. People do try to slide fakes through Amazon. But the lenses on these do look correct with the correct pol pl blah, blah, blah. polarization. Couldn't say it. These do look good though. These are awesome. I was not expecting this. That is freaking awesome. Some Oakley. So the first box, or I guess these are two boxes. Let me put these off to the side. So just the camera that I showed you, the doorbell thing and that, that's possibly like 250 bucks between those two things. That is fantastic. So that's awesome. Next we got Accurite Weather Station. Man, it's dusty. This has been in the warehouse for a while. Customer return. This is open package item. Woo! You got loose stuff in there. Had to test test this thing out. This thing has been uh, scotch taped by whoever returned it. But used condition, honestly, not much more about 15 bucks on that. And that is a very slow seller in used condition. So you put it online, it's just gonna sit. Ooh, gross. You got somebody's hair on this. Use chains. Ooh, that's a that's a used chainsaw blade. There's there's some nasty like people's hair stuck to it. So that's kind of gross. We'll call that trash. Some stuff you will get trash in these boxes. Can't help it. Skywalker trampolines, two inch wind stakes. So I'm just gonna keep these things sealed. These are trampoline stakes. It's a set of four. So they can't be much more than like what? A couple bucks a steak? Probably no more like 10 bucks for those four steaks. Looks like he's got a wooden cutting board. Cut your food on it. And it's wood. Made in Canada. That's about five bucks in my shop. Something like that. You put that on uh, eBay or Amazon. All your profit goes in shipping. You won't make a dime. Something like that, you have to have someplace else to sell it. You can't sell it online. What in the world? We got some green paper. I'm not sure what this is. It kind of smells funny. I still don't know what this is. It might be some, some kind of like a party favor or something. So, I don't know. Some fancy for like a table decoration, I guess. Dollar a piece for that. It's like a dozen in there. Whatever. Oh, that's nasty there. It's like somebody returned eva evaporative humidifier panel. You got all kinds of crud and stuff just coming off of that panel inside of that box. Yeah, that's nasty. That is heavily used. We'll just throw that down there. We got a whole box of sunlight. 40 watt clear bulbs. Okay, that's interesting. So a whole packages, probably a dozen in there. A couple bucks a pop, I bet. Something like that, maybe. Then we have a light cover. That's not exciting whatsoever. A few bucks. Barrel lock plunger key. Okay, I've never sold this before. Once again, tools. I am not good on prices of tools. I am way out of my realm because I don't do tools or hardware. Because most of those pallets, little tip for people, tools and hardware pallets, nine times out of 10, you'll get pallets of junk, salvage, broken, don't buy them. If you do buy them, you better get them cheap, cheap, cheap. But uh, most things won't be like this, like new in package. They won't be like this. Probably this is like 10 bucks or so maybe. Not sure. Oregon, another chainsaw. Eight, 10 bucks. I've gotten these, my last pallet I did, last week I got like three or four of them in that pallet. So far two in this one. What's up with that? Delta. 
Where's the opening? There it is. So far, the cool things we've had the pair of Oakley glasses. We had the buy one doorbell or a video doorbell thing. Those two things were ultra cool. And you know, everything can't be like cool pair of uh, Oakley sunglasses though. Here's the Delta. Doesn't look installed. Looks like somebody just bought it and they returned it. So something like this. It is model number BT10 or one. Check, check, check. BT13010 Delta. So things like these can be priced like all over the board. They could be like 10 bucks, 15, some could be 30. But something like this, it's probably not much more than like maybe like 10, 20 bucks or so. Wow, that does not sound good. Submersible pond filter. The box is just beat to crap. It doesn't really, I mean, it's used, but it's not like nasty use for it being submerged in water. But, ugh, this is gonna be a hard sell. Like, honestly, I'll probably put that into my shop for honestly like five bucks and just let it ride and see what happens. Okay, this, this box is empty. That was other stuff in it. Let me actually bring up this third box. So, so far, we're through one box and a half of a box. Hasn't been too bad so far. I know I'm like already 100% in a pretty good profit because of just the Oakley glasses alone, 150. The video camera thing is like 100. So pretty good. Can't beat that. So let's go ahead and dig from this new box. Health Smart, a walker basket. So if you have a walker, I've got a walker basket. And it's for sale. How weird is that? It looks 100% brand new. Probably like this. This thing is so large, it'll cost more to ship this than when it's actually what it's actually worth. Shipping on this thing is going to actually be, it's just going to kill it. So this is pretty much has to be sold in person. I'll probably try to get like five to eight dollars for it, honestly. We have an outlet, a uh, like a tri outlet thing with a little remote control, I guess, to turn it on and turn it off. Interesting. Got to make sure it works. Uh, make sure it doesn't like have a short in it too. But ten bucks. And then we have uh, these are actually brand new. They still have the little lens on them. We have a brand new pair of swimming goggles. Brand is Aquasphere. I've sold this brand before. I think I got about 15 bucks for them. And these are brand new. Aquasphere. Not bad. Love that brand new stuff. Can't beat that. Man. Somebody put some scotch tape on that. Not a huge fan of all this stuff for fishes and ponds and yeah, that's used. This is almost an impossible sell. I actually have a few of these in my shop right now. I've had them in my shop for months. I've got them priced at, I think like five bucks and I can't sell them. They're just sitting. They just been sitting. I'll price this thing at five bucks also and just play the waiting game. See if I can, see if I can move it someday, eventually. Next we got a high pressure soap applicator. Okay. Somebody went to like tape crazy on this thing. 
kind of stinks a little bit. Soap applicator. It's not really dirty, but it has a weird odor to it. it smells funny. I'm gonna say probably about five bucks in my shop. Not a whole lot. Just enough so I can sell it. Then we have a a combination lock that's missing the other half of the combination lock. That's a problem because now it is pretty much it's it's kind of worthless. But I'll put it to the side just in case. Oh, here we have, oh, what are these things called? There's like, there's these uh, bits in this. They're like carbide bits or something like that. They can actually go pretty expensive at times too. It depends on like what they are. Probably can't really see them. But these can have some pretty good value to them. But last time I had some of these things, I had to research these for quite a while to figure out what these things were. I actually think it was a viewer who pretty much helped me figure out like the model of it and they ended up selling them for like 25 to 30 bucks so I'll go ahead and say these two combined like about 50 but it could actually go higher than that depending on I think what they're actually used for so what we got mystery box little sanders right here People, some of these people use these for like, the, like for like manicures and pedicures, but that's all this is not, it's not what it's for. Looks like this is just a little, a, uh, oh, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank. A, uh, this brand is called an EC basket. I'm drawing a complete blank on what this thing is called. Actually, <laughs> disregard. This actually is a manicure and a pedicure set. That's actually what it's for. Disregard what I was saying. This is a mani and a pedi set. I'm gonna say maybe about 10 bucks or so on that. I've never sold a mani and pedi set before. That is completely out of my realm of knowledge. Architectural outdoor light kit. Brand is Sigma. Easy to install. They say that now until you actually start trying to do it. It's not so easy. This is 100% brand new, factory sealed, factory packaged. 100% brand new. That is freaking awesome. Probably about, what, 20, 30 bucks for that, I bet. Love that brand new stuff because that pretty much just sells itself. Then we have. This is also factory sealed, like it's like a fresh vacuum sealed, like how you do your food. <laughs> That's different. Looks like like wire for like your uh, weed trimmer or something. 1.75 millimeter. I'm I'm not sure if that's what it's. It's probably not, not what it's for, but it's 1.75 millimeter wire. Guesstimate on this. 15 bucks total guesstimation. What are you? This ha this this one has a it's a hose with the hole in the middle of it. I have no clue what this thing to be used for. This is a great thing for my dollar boxes. Call it right now, dollar box. And we have a Razor scooter helmet. Finally, we, we kind of got a hodgepodge. This has been a lot of tools and hardware for a hodgepodge. This wasn't supposed to be tools and hardware, but it kind of ended up being almost tool, tools and a hardware palette. And those aren't very much fun. They're kind of boring. Honestly, just being totally honest with you, they're, they're not much fun and they're not really that profitable. They're kind of boring. Cause you don't get like cool stuff out of them. But here is a Razor helmet for either skating or biking, whatever you want to do. It doesn't look compromised, it doesn't look wrecked. So I probably get like 15 bucks for that helmet. And then we have a, is this a part of the toilet, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, tank bracket. Yeah, just a part of a toilet. That's no fun. I can't even talk this thing up, you know, I can't make this thing sound cool. 
Somebody like, oh, look at this, man. This thing can be used to like, you could like take shots of beer out of this thing if you wanted to. How cool? I can't. I, I, I just can't. You know, so five bucks. Here's a flashlight. I actually got, I think this very similar, if not the same flashlight in a palette last week. The brand was called Coast. Coast, if you remember me doing a video last week of the HodgePodge palette, I got this, I think it looks like the exact same one. I actually sold it for like 30 bucks. Of course, they had the box for it still, so without the box, got to knock off a little bit of price. So I'm gonna say about 20 bucks for this thing. It actually has a pretty good uh, light on it. It, had, it was like a 700, uh, like, uh, what's what's the term? Like is this like the wattage of it or whatever, whatever it was? Like the the lumens. I think it's the lumens was like 700. It was pretty good light. About 20 bucks. Universal grippers. Wow, not exciting. Couple bucks for that. So oh, what we got? What we got? Three head solar powered LED cordless light, PIR sensors, and blah blah blah. Come on, give me some vinyl records, or give me uh, give me some Blu-rays, or some PS4 games, or throw me a curveball, and give me like uh, some kind of weird. Uh, Something that shouldn't be talked about on YouTube or something. You know what I'm saying? I've gotten a couple of those the past few weeks on my channel. This looks to be brand new still, though. So, it is just a solar light. Good item. Box is beat up beyond belief, though. This box is just destroyed. It's bad. But I probably put this in my shop for like $20, $25. See, just see if I can sell it. This table's getting full. Next, we have a Belkin Surge Protector. That's kind of nifty. A little, it's, it's almost like electronics. Almost. We're getting excited now. Here we go. We got electronics out. Boom. Belkin. Yeah, 15, 20 bucks in that range. Something like that. that money did we find money did we, hit the, did we hit the jackpot how do you open oh that's a part of a toilet that's like the little thingy that it looks used I don't want to touch it that's gross oh thing that goes into a sink <laughs> just like a few dollars there's only a few things left there's like three things to go, and I'm not that upset. <laughs> we got a lawn and garden sprayer, Chapin brand. Let's see if this thing's new or used. I'm gonna guess it's used. What do you guess at home? And it looks new actually. So a new garden sprayer, box is in decent shape. A little bit of a damage right there. Ah, maybe like $15 or so. Not too expensive. Two things to go. Then here we have, is this a record player? Hold up, hold up. Finally, we got like a hodgepodge item out. Supposed to be a hodgepodge palette. I'm waiting for the hodgepodge. This is a record player and it still has the power cord to it, which is nice. We'll see, what, what did we get? Yes, the brand is Walk Odor. Record player, thank goodness. We got an electronic. I repeat, we got an electronic item. Thank you. We got an electronic item in this. Uh, I feel complete now. A true hodgepodge palette now. So it looks like it's in fantastic condition. Ooh, the arm works too. Awesome. 
So yeah, it actually has a USB plug-in. Looks nice. I don't need another one. So this will be for sale, obviously. This model here is probably no more than like 40, 40 or so dollars, I bet. It's nice though. I'll just put it back in the box. My table is absolutely full. About 40 bucks, last item, and we're done. Thank you for bearing with me. This item is literally, is falling apart. Ugh, what is this? We have an entire box of Step up to the photo booth. Thank you for sharing on this special day. Please enjoy the photo booth and use this frame to display your photos for. Oh, that's actually really cool. If you've ever been to like a wedding or something where they have like a photo booth that you go to, they take your picture and you get a little strip for that you get to keep. There's never like, you don't have anything to put it in. Well, guess what? Here's the little holder for those pictures and in back of it has a magnet to put onto like your, like your fridge or anything they can stick to. Here's an entire case of them. I mean, a huge freaking case of these things. There's there's probably, I don't know, 500 in here, 150, 200, I have no idea. It's falling apart though. This might be like, I have no clue how to even guesstimate the price of this thing. I'm gonna have to pretty much take them all out of this box, repackage them before I even sell them because this box is destroyed. But this is actually, this actually solves a problem that people have when they go to a photo booth and you have nothing to put those little photos in. Here you go, genius. Anyway, that's what we got. That is everything. All three boxes, I got a good feeling. It was still pretty profitable with just the Oakley glasses. I'm going to check to make sure they're not counterfeit. I'm going to have to do some more research and comparative pictures but they look good to me. Not an expert though, but I'm gonna have to verify those. The doorbell thing with the camera, awesome thing. So I think all, all in all, I should probably at least get back maybe $300 profit, potential profit once everything sells. But there's several items here, probably half of the items here are gonna be extremely slow selling items. But thank goodness though, it's Christmas time. But since it's Christmas, a lot of these items that would sit for a month or two might actually sell within a week or two. So that's good. But all in all, this wasn't the most exciting palette. It wasn't, it wasn't. But still, we got out a few cool items. At least at the very end, we got out a record player. So that kind of, at least we ended on a bang. So at least we ended decent. So all in all, it was still fun. It was profitable and it was good. So make sure you take one second, go down below, click that subscribe button if you would please, and the, and the little bell next to it, make sure you click that because that will notify you of any and all future videos on this YouTube channel. I wanna thank everybody for taking your time out of your, of your day, your night, and watching me on YouTube, watching all of my videos. I really appreciate it, it means a lot to me. Be on the lookout. We'll be having uh, more videos coming up the end of this week, this weekend, and next week, and after that. So be on the lookout for that, and I will see you very, very soon. I'm out.